Ah, Home Alone 3. Review, and then I'm done with the Home Alone series. Uh, not the same kid for the, f not the same kid from the first, obviously. Uh, we got an alright title sequence there. Uh, Asians are the villains apparently in this, because they want this computer chip, which is the story of this apparently. This is, and how did we go from robbers to spies trying to steal a computer chip? And we spend way too much time on this, really, in my opinion. And hide the most important chip in the world in a toy car? Like, really? Yeah, that won't backfire. And it's a bag mix-up that causes the backfire. <sighs> They're desperate to justify this plot. <laughs> well, you should have just given up when you learned that the bag in the car was going to Chicago though I mean honestly and okay yeah this is gonna be honest suspension of disbelief went right out the window with that whole uh, contraption he uses to feed a goldfish and oh yeah even the older brother in this movie looks lame uh, I will say this so the home alone setup is actually pretty simple in this one both parents work and kid can't go to school due to chicken pox. It's simple. <sighs> and my god, somebody actually calls the cops in this movie. Twice. Only took you till the third movie to do that. Uh, though the continuous setup for the computer chip throughout this is still just ridiculous in my opinion. And while I can at least say the parents care about their child in this one, unlike the other two. And the car camera scene is probably my favorite scene in this movie for some reason. Uh, the parrot, because there's a parrot in this apparently. They bought their eldest son a parent, parrot. But the parrot is the best character in this film. And how fast does this car go exactly? Because it's like ridiculous the speed of this car. This remote control car. The trap set up throughout this movie is alright, it's kind of short though, and although I do like how as they progress through the actual slapstick scene, there's more and more stuff he has to set up. It's not all just done in one go. The slapstick itself is kind of lame, sometimes it is a little too cartoony, and the actor's reactions of overselling, is it just takes you out of the moment. Though I will admit, sometimes it did get me. This movie did get me to laugh sometimes. Honestly, this movie wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The kid wasn't a bad actor, not great though. Above average acting ability, I would say. The, act the other actors still did alright though, you know? Uh, the only problem with this is that there's no reason to watch this one. I mean, because the first one is the instant classic. The second one is just uh, the first one again with the same two robbers, but at least, you know, it's the slapstick in the second one is better than it is in this one. I will admit that. Um, and the acting is better in the first and the second one. Um, so overall, I'd have to say... I mean, it's not a terrible movie, it's just, if this was a standalone movie, like it wasn't part of some, f like it wasn't associated with the Home Alone movies, and like this was just its own thing, it'd be a pretty decent movie. Not great, but you know, good. Uh, it's just the Home Alone tag on it really uh, uh, holds it back from being good. In my opinion, because I mean, why watch this one when you can just watch the first or the second one? I won't be rewatching this again anytime soon, even though I did kind of enjoy it. Some parts of it. Uh, I do like how they didn't do the crazy old person, and it's just some woman who's like, Oh, I'm retired, and I've got to babysit this kid and look after him. No, no, I'm going into town. She's not... It's it's She's not some creepy, crazy... 
oh, she's a serial killer type person. She's just an old lady that's like, seriously? I thought I was done doing this kind of crap when I retired. <laughs> Uh, the parents are a lot more likable in this one, in my opinion. Well, anyway. Uh. I mean, the traps themselves weren't bad. Oh, what the heck? Why is that? Why did that show up on, in my video? The screenshot thing. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure everybody's figured out that's how I'm getting the photos for this. Anyways. Uh, this about wraps it up. Thanks for watching this when you do. Subscribe if you want, and don't forget to give yourselves a big thumbs up. Goodbye, everybody.